We're going to go live right now to Premier Doug Ford and several of his cabinet ministers. They're attending the Rural Ontario Municipal Association's annual general meeting today. Let's listen in. Especially for small and rural communities. And I'm so proud of how I always say when people come up to me, oh, you did a good job in Penn. It wasn't about me. It was about Team Ontario. It was about all the companies and the communities, all 444 of them that were out there helping out. Obviously, the frontline uh, healthcare workers, they did an incredible job. To every one of our 444 municipalities, we all came together as a province, and that was the proudest uh, time of my administration. When you reach out to your, your partners, to, no matter if it's the councillors or mayors or wardens across the, the province, everyone really pitched in. So again, I, I want to thank you all for the work you did and continue to do to help keep our community safe and healthy. And as I've said before, small communities and townships of Ontario are the lifeblood of the province and our government will always, always have your back. So I, folks, I, I call Queen's Park the bubble. And uh, you're down there, you have a couple choices. And no matter if you're in City Hall too, my brother Rob used to tell me that, you know, you can either get stuck in the bubble and listen to a bunch of politicians, as I am too, and, and uh, the staff, well, PS staff, which are great people, or you can get out around the province and you start meeting the real people. And people wonder, I, I love how Robin gave her phone number out. I, I can see giving your phone number out is catching around the, the province, but you wonder why I give my phone number out? Because you have ears and eyes right across the province and you hear what's going on on the ground versus what's going on at Queen's Park. So I just love getting out and paying everyone a visit because we know that if our rural communities are successful and prosperous, then all of Ontario is successful and prosperous. <laughs> my, my friends, our government has a plan that's building Ontario. Whether you live in downtown Toronto or Sudbury or Thunder Bay and anywhere in between, we're making sure every single Ontario and every single person and community benefits from our investments to support economic growth and protect jobs. So the, the job numbers came out last month and you see around the world. You see the challenges, you know, they say economic slowdown and see the U.S. had two negative quarters and make no mistake about it. Are we all going to see a few bumps? Sure. But I'm, I'm just not seeing it here in Ontario because all the hard work, all the communities are doing and the cities are doing, you know, where do you see 42,000 job, jobs grow last month, another 30,000 the time before and Vic Fidelli sent me a, a message. Where are you, Vic? He's probably out selling jobs somewhere. Oh, there you are. Our number, one of our number one salespeople, he sent me a message about the, the tech sector. And I've always said, yeah, we're second to Silicon Valley. But the numbers you, you sent me, and we hear there's some layoffs in the tech sector, but the numbers you sent me last night, Vic, were, were pretty staggering. You know, you see San Francisco area, Bay Area and everything, the, kind of the tech capital. They had 380,000 uh, jobs in the tech sector and they saw growth from 2016, 2021 by about 14,000 people. And then you look, at, you look at Ontario and just specifically Toronto and Waterloo, we saw growth of 350%. Those are pretty staggering numbers, Vic, when I, when I saw that. We have about 333,000 people in the tech sector, but here's the sec uh, secret little weapon. In Ottawa, you add another 80,000 people in the tech sector. So all of a sudden, you're up to 413. So we're going to continue making that sector thrive and grow. So thank you for uh, sending me that information, and Vic, and let's, let's tell the rest of the world this is the tech capital now in North America. Our plan... Our <laughs> Our plan to build Ontario starts with building a stronger economy. As you all know, under the previous government, Ontario saw 300,000 jobs vanish as businesses fled to other jurisdictions, skyrocketing energy costs and overregulation, high taxes uh, made it impossible for business to compete. They left in the thousands. Each of you know best how devastating it can be on smaller towns and communities. When companies leave, you could have a big employer in your company, and if they leave, that really affects the, the community. 
You know, they, they, there's always spin-off jobs from those communities. But those days are done, they're gone. We're making electricity more affordable and cutting red tape. We've kept taxes and fees low. And as a result, we have reduced the cost of doing business in Ontario by $7 billion a year. And that's $7 billion year after year after year. And I always say, if you, if, you know, we're, we all know we're in a world economy. And if we aren't competitive and we don't make our jurisdictions competitive, guess what? They're going down to the U.S. We're, our U.S. is our number one trading partner. We, we do about $400 billion a year with the U.S. of two-way trade. We're the number one well, we've been listening to uh, Premier Doug Ford uh, making an announcement. He's uh, attending the Rural Ontario Municipal Association's annual general meeting today.